Welcome to today's 3D print channel update. A uh, couple things to go over first. I apologize for the lack of videos over the last couple weeks. I haven't posted as many as I normally do. Some of them were leftovers that got posted over time. But that's because most of my printers were unplugged as I did all of this work in these rooms. So I couldn't do any prints. Normally I have prints going at all times and I have a backlog of prints that I then make videos for. Last week I got the printers going again, not all of them, but enough of them that I now have my prints again so we can start doing cool prints. Um, a few things I wanted to go over. Um, I don't think I mentioned it too much, but I want to make sure I don't lean on that in the future. So I'm going to go over a little bit about how the monetary side of this channel is handled. Um, right now my primary sources of income from this channel are your direct donations via Patreon, think below, and um, any commissions that I get for affiliate links to Amazon and Gearbest. Um, I make about 30 bucks a month on Patreon, I make about four or five hundred dollars a month on Amazon if I can sustain that, and I make about 200 bucks a month from Gearbest. Um, the money from Gearbest is not really that important, I'm probably just going to tell them to keep it and use it to send me some other stuff that they might not normally send me. Um, what's important to Gearbest is that I get the printers, which allows me to do more prints, which allows me to do print reviews, print builds, etc. So that's the only reason I even care about that. Um, if I start to make enough money from the other two sources, they become less important because I can simply buy the printers. Okay? Um, about half that money goes back into the channel, the rest of it goes toward paying down my debt. Long story, nothing to do with you guys, that's why I'm doing this YouTube thing. But, transparency, openness, just wanted to give you an update on that. So, I am not going to mention any of that funding in the future anymore. Um, understand that if I say this object came from Gearbest, that means they sent it to me for free. The payment was the free product, just so you know that, so I don't have to keep mentioning it over and over again. Some people get confused when I say that this review is paid for via this free product. What I mean by that is that um, the review, the, there was no zero transaction between me and Gearbest. They gave me a printer. That printer has actual value. It's worth money. So it's not entirely a free, unrestrained review. They did provide the printer. And for me to say that there was no exchange of money, while technically correct, would be dishonest, because there was an exchange of monetary value, whatever the value is of the printer. I'm even assuming that I have to count whatever the cost is of that printer as income on my taxes. I'm not sure how that works. I'm going on the assumption that I will have to report that. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> I'm not a tax expert, but I'm assuming if somebody gave me 300 bucks, I'd have to count that as income. If they gave me a $300 printer, it's the same thing as give me $300, so I count it as income. Except I could probably count whatever the cost of the printer was, not whatever the retail price of the printer was. But anyway, that's so you understand what that means when I say stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to stop saying that. I'm just going to say, provided by Gearbest. Um, you know, Gearbest gave me this printer for this review. And you'll know what that means now. That it means that, you know, it wasn't free. They, they paid me via the free printer. Um, I'm not going to mention the affiliate links anymore. Um, you guys are being wonderful about using them. If you want to use them, great. If you don't, great. I'm going to continue making these videos, even if I make no money, for as long as I'm able to, because I enjoy doing this. Um, the only reason I'm even trying to monetize is because I saw it as a way to possibly save me from some of my issues that my dad left me when he passed. So I'm trying to make a living doing what I love, and that's this. Um, if you click those links, they will say at the top, it will say affiliate link. Anytime a link is an affiliate link, I will tell you it will say affiliate link. What that literally means is I get a commission. So if you go and buy that $22 roll of Esun PLA filament, I get a dollar. Or whatever it is. It's 50 cents to a dollar twenty-five, depends on what you buy, but I don't even know what it is. I don't care. The point is when those links are used, I get paid. Um, when you buy something from Gearbest, two things happen. I get paid a commission. I haven't been paid yet, but I assume they'll send me that money at some point. Um, I get a commission. I think it's like six percent or something like that. I don't know what it is. It's it's some it's, it's actually not bad. If I if I can make a living selling their printers, I'd make a pretty good living, but you know, it's it's not that much. But also it encourages them to send me more printers because they're now they're making money. 
and they don't care what I sell. If you go and buy a $500 CR-10S, they're happy. If you go and buy $500 worth of batteries, they're happy. If you buy a $200 quadcopter using my link, they're happy. Because that's the magic of these affiliate links. You don't have to buy what I link to. If you click on the link for eSun PLA Pro Blue, and then you go buy a roll of TPU, I get credit. Because my affiliate link got me there. If you click on my link for the TiVo Tornado, and decide, nah, I don't want the TiVo Tornado, and you buy a Tronx EX5S, I get credit because you click on my link to get the gear best and then you bought that printer. So just be aware you don't have to actually buy what I link to. You can buy anything you wish. If you wish to reward me for providing you with value and if you think my value is worth it, use my links to go buy stuff. That's great. I appreciate it any way you want. The advantage of GearBest is that they don't care what I sell as long as I sell. So GearBest doesn't care about the fact that I think the Zone Star X5S is not worth buying, stay away from it. <laughs> even though they sent me the printer for free. Because you went and bought a couple of vendors. They're happy. That's all they care about. They only care about sales. I will be very cautious about accepting a printer directly from a manufacturer because that's where you get to potential bias. If GearBest sends me a CR-10S, they don't care about my review of the CR-10S. They only care that I send sales to GearBest. If Creality sends me a CR-10S, they expect a positive review for the CR-10S. And even subconsciously, I might be mentally biased toward giving them a better review because they sent me the printer which is why I will probably shy away from accepting printers from a manufacturer. If they send me one in the blind with no expectations I'm not going to turn it down but I'm not going to go asking them for one either because I think that's that creates bias and I do not want bias. I might become a fanboy of a printer but bias would be a disservice to you my viewers so that will not happen. Um, I'm working on condensing my content to be effective on YouTube, uh, while I'll, I'm probably never going to make any money from YouTube itself or from AdSense, more subscribers and more views on YouTube equal more click-throughs to links and equal more viewership of my content, which equals more money for me. So I have to try to work within whatever algorithm works with YouTube. YouTube no longer cares about views. What YouTube really cares about now, because this, this is why I don't want to depend on YouTube, because it changes. There are people who were making a living off of the way YouTube did it before, and now they're gone. They're done. <laughs> Their channels are over. Everything's gone because now they can't make a living with the new algorithm. What YouTube cares about now is um, likes, subscribes, and um, feedback, meaning people commenting below. Now, that just so happens that last part is actually important to me because I love answering questions. It's fun. It's enjoyable. I get to tangibly assist somebody if I'm able to. To me, that's fun. I love the engagement. I love the interaction. Um, I like doing it now. Because if this channel takes off, if this channel goes big, which I hope it does, I pray, it's going to become much more difficult to actually individually respond to everybody. It might even get to the point where it's impossible. Like, even doing this 24-7 full-time, I might be getting more questions than I could ever possibly answer in that amount of time and still make content. So if you like having your questions answered, now's the time to ask them, because <laughs> I love answering questions. Um, so that's where YouTube is going, and that means I have to make the videos, you know, 8 to 15 minutes long. So I'm going to shoot for that 11 or 12 minute mark. Build videos will be longer because you can't really make them shorter. Live videos will be longer. I'm going to try to do more live videos because that allows for that long format content that some people like and um, doesn't detract from the shorter content. So all these videos are gonna, I'm gonna keep them under 15 minutes, I'm gonna try to keep them under 11. Because that seems to be the magic number, right around 11. So I've got three minutes left, two minutes left. Um, that's it. If um, you want to reward me for my content, and you wanna buy something on Amazon, just click on any of my Amazon links for anything, and then go and buy whatever you want. You could click on my link for TL smoothers for the TiVo Tornado and then go buy an Amazon Echo. I get credit. You don't have to buy the smoothers. Uh, I have people from my rocketry forum helping me out. I have a link to the Handbook of Modern Rocketry on AmazonLive.com. Nobody's bought one yet, but they're using the link to get into Amazon, which gives me credit. So, I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to record several videos today. Today is Tuesday. It's my video day. And I'm done the work I need to do here for now. And I've got cool prints. Oh my god. You guys remember this one? Faceless. 
Well, the guy who made this, his name on the internet is called Fantasy Graph, and he has a lot of prints, a lot of models that are all absolutely stunning. I mean, oh. I just went, I want to print that, and then I clicked the next one. I want to print that. And then I click the next one. I want to print that too. I was like, screw it, download all. <laughs> I just downloaded everything and I'm going to print every one of them. I'm going to print small ones. I'm going to print big ones. If it's something as sketchy and I want to see what's going to require to print, I'll print small first, see where the failures are, and then I know how to correct it when I print the big ones. Because there's some of these that I want to print really big. That's it for today. I am not going to bring this subject up again as far as the money exchange and all that crap. I'm going to try to keep that low key. I don't want to have to mention it. I'm not going to bug you for subscribes. I'm not going to bug you for likes. If you like it, you're going to click like. If you want more of my stuff, you're going to hit subscribe. I don't need to crank that into your head all day. So thank you very much for your patronage and I'm going to get back to start making great content for you guys. You have a great night.